All right, all right, all right. So, welcome back again. It's, uh, the tank's three weeks old now. and I was hoping to do not that many maintenance to it, but the last week I did have to uh, remove some of the brown, brown dye tome algae because it was just completely covering up the plants to a point where they were almost not getting any light anymore and just suffocating them. So I took a little air hose like you normally get for like an air stone and went through the tank. Took me about 10 minutes each time. Did that three times the last week and just uh, went over the plants with the hose and it comes off quite easily. Only on the uh, moss, because the moss is so tiny and there's so many little t tiny hairs and leaves, so it really sticks to that, but I did that a few times and uh, hoping it would help because it looked like, uh, it's just new tank syndrome though, like it's normal and if you ever get this, like don't give up, like you just gotta sit through it for a few weeks and once you do, like it's gonna be over. Uh, yeah, the shrimp weren't uh, fully onto the job yet and had to uh, help a little out, so did that and uh, quite happy with it. And every time I took a little bit of the brown algae out, I also took out a bucket of water, so I'll probably replace about 30 liters of uh, water this week, but wasn't intended on in doing so many water changes, more just to uh, remove the algae. Gratefully, all the fish are doing fine. I haven't lost a single fish still or have seen any signs of sickness or anything. So happy to see that uh, everything is going well in that aspect. The only downside is uh, I lost two, two cherry shrimps in the first one or two weeks. But if you hear other people and see other stories, then two out of 50 isn't too bad, I suppose. I see some people like l literally losing like 25%. So, I can live with two, I suppose, but it's just, never like seeing things die in my tank. Always trying to give the best care to the things and the inhabitants that I get, and seeing that is always sad. The footage you see right now in the background is from week four, and for week four, the same kind of goes for week three. Uh, I spend another 10 minutes or so, three times, taking out the uh, brown diet home algae, and Making sure my plants aren't getting too suffocated. Like clearly you can tell there's still a little bit left. But uh, this was the last week I gladfully had to do that. And after that, uh, the brown diatome algae wasn't an issue anymore. You can see it's clinging to the duckweed as well. That's floating on top of the water. And just so happy that this stage is over. Because I just really don't like the looks of the brown algae. And... Green algae looks a bit more natural, in my opinion, but brown is always associated with dead plants, I suppose. And just like a nice green tank more, clearly, so can't wait for uh, the next few weeks and for the uh, tank to stabilize a bit more and more. The lighting was a bit off for the uh, video of the fourth week. I was still trying to find the best camera angle and the best lighting. and It looks good enough to show, though, but... Uh, in the future, the other videos should all be the same and all of the same lighting and look the best and uh, show the best colors, I suppose. This is week five and uh, yeah, like I said, the video is a bit overlit on this one, but uh, the next one should be perfect and I'm going to make all the rest of my videos with the same settings because the fish come out the nicest and the colors of the plants do as well. But uh, you'll see it after this one, but uh, like I said, this is week five and finally... Pfft, I'm done with the uh, brown diatome algae bloom. And, uh, it hasn't emerged and I haven't done any cleaning myself anymore when it comes to uh, the uh, brown diatome algae. Somewhere at some point in these four weeks I did clean my glass all four sides just once and just sponged them all off because it was getting a, a bit too much with green spot algae but after that the uh, snails and the other sinkless stayed quite on top of it so didn't have to anymore and uh, yeah feeding my fish you can see uh, how crazy it gets especially the uh, the pearl daniels they just are so quick and they scoop like everything on top of the water so I always tend to uh, put my hands just underneath the water level and distribute a little bit of food so all the neon tetras that are a bit more 
midfielders can just have a good good snack as well and make sure they get fed well. And the uh, Pearl Daniels don't scoop up everything. But yeah, gradually it's finally starting to look better in uh, my opinion. And it's like the first month is just the worst. Like I said, I'm so happy I'm through the uh, brown delt brown diatom allergy phase because I just really don't like being in that phase but really happy with everything so far I know I say that I'm happy a lot but I guess it's a good thing to be happy isn't it because uh, everything's looking good now and the plants are slowly uh, starting to grow now they get a bit more light and they're not continuously being suffocated so this is week six and you can see how they actually grew a little and how the tank is starting to grow in. The last two weeks I only did uh, a 10 liter water chain, so what is that, 5% or something? Well, technically the tank doesn't hold 200 liters of water with all the soil, but it's a 200 liter aquarium, so. But uh, yeah, done that and then I don't want to do big water changes because I just think it's unnecessary but uh, at the same time I'm not gonna like kill my fish and just never never be bothered looking after them. I do test my waters and uh, if it's gonna get to a point where anything is getting out of hand I'm definitely gonna do a big water change but uh, so far I haven't needed to. So these are the test results. Uh, these are from week six and the first one is ammonia which is almost non-existent. The second one is nitrite. And the third one is nitrate. And uh, the third one is the only one that actually has some value. So I'd say it's probably uh, 10 milligrams for a liter. I don't know if that's the equivalent of like 10, 10 parts a million or something like what other people always talk about. But let me know if it is because I'm just curious. But uh, yeah. The nitrite isn't that big of an issue because uh, it's a natural plant fertilizer. Like when you put fertilizer in your tank, there's like nitrite in there as well. And as long as it doesn't go above certain levels, it shouldn't be a big issue. And the duckweed also takes out any excess amounts of it. So in the end of the day, even if it goes above it, the duckweed just explodes and will take care of it. And the duckweed, I, I love it so far. I know a lot of people hate it, but like I said, it takes care of my uh, nitrite levels. And the I see a lot of the bigger fish like eat it. It's just a natural source of food, just adding on to the cycle, especially the bloodfin tetras and the bigger pearl darnios. And I even see a few of the uh, rominos tetras go at it. So always nice to have a organic source of food in the tank better than just flakes and other stuff even though clearly I also feed them uh, mosquito larvae and other frozen foods and live food sometimes but it's just nice anyway that's it for this video and uh, yeah subscribe if you want to see more because I'm gonna make an update video for week 7 till 10 as well and uh, yeah I got myself a new uh, microphone recently and also guitar so don't have much else to tell so I'm just gonna let the footage run out and uh, have a new song well I played the song a few times but I had it re-recorded so let me know what you think because I think the audio is way better anyway make sure to appreciate nature and catch you next time